Hey, what's going on? My name is Antonio DePina. I'm the founder and president of the CBBO, the Cowboy Basketball League, um, here at Playa Cape Verde. I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware, in the United States, um, and I found my way back to Playa Cape Verde. Cape Verde is where my father's from. I came back to my roots to start a professional basketball league. My journey through basketball wasn't the most idealistic way. Um, I went to college, went to a Division II school. Uh, after college, I went and played in Portugal. Um, I went to play in Spain and had a short stint in France. Um, while in Portugal and Spain, I asked one of my teammates, you know, um, why does, you know, African players, he was an African player, why do African players leave Africa to, you know, chase their basketball dreams? Why do they come to Europe? And he told me one day, and he was like, you know, Antonio, be honest, there's no opportunities in Africa. There's no professional leagues. There's no nothing. I was thinking like, damn, like a, a country, a continent so big, so vast, so many resources. Not have one professional basketball league. Not have a, a league where players don't have to leave. It was amazing to me. So I, I decided to build my own, and um, it's been going good so far. Um, I don't know if I have a good professional career. You know, I, I kind of, I don't, I don't call it a professional career. I call it like a. Um, I'm a dreamer, and I, and I work really, really hard. So anything I feel like I can do, I can fix and create, create a solution for, I try my best to do that, and I just work really, really hard. You know, I believe in myself, and I just keep going. My models and inspiration, that's a good question. My models and inspiration would have to be my mom. My mom's one of my inspirations and models. You know, she worked really, really hard, and now I'm like, I can't work less hard than my mom. She can have some bragging rights over me. So, you know, I, I try to work really, really hard. Um, I model myself after like, like real gritty entrepreneurs, like a, like a Nipsey Hussle, like a Diddy, like a Master P, like those guys I like, I really, really like inspired to me, like a very inspiring, like an Akon. Guys who like have a solution and believe in themselves so much that no matter what the outside world may say, they just keep going. So that's kind of like what inspires me. Yes, the CVB of the Cape Verde Basketball League. It's a league I created in Cape Verde. Right now we have six teams. Um, we have three Americans per, per team, three Americans slash imports. So they can be African players, European players, um, any any other um, country besides Cape Verde. Um, we have three per team and um, the rest are filled with Cape Verdean talent. The goal of my league is to create exposure for the African players and the players who come from different countries and trust us enough to come here and play. Um, last year, I had 30 of my guys go play other places. You know, whether it was Australia, Portugal, Spain, you name it, like 30 guys that left my league went and played different countries. So I kind of use my league as a summer league that can guys can come here, go in paradise, they can literally go to practice and then go to the beach right after. Like, it's kind of like paradise because we're on an island. And it's, it's a beautiful place to have a summer league and a professional basketball league. I chose Cape Verde because this is where my father was from. Um, it kind of fell in my lap. I said one day, I was like, maybe I should do a professional basketball league. What better place to do it than my father's country? Uh, my mother's from Liberia, but their country, Liberia wasn't, um, their basketball federation wasn't as ready for a league as, as Cape Verde was. You know, Cape Verde's already been in Afro basket, you know, World Cups, and they already had a player from the NBA um, that actually just got drafted in, I think, 2013, Eddie Tavares. So they were more ready for a professional basketball league. Um, so yeah, so I brought it here, and um, you know, I just wanted to just inspire the kids here to get them hope, and um, hopefully they are inspired enough to chase their dreams like how most of us did. We have a game every week. So every week we have a game. Every team plays every week. Um, the playoffs will be around August. So I believe we'll play around eight to 10 regular season games. It's really, really chill. You know, our season is like paradise. Like it's not putting too much in your body. You have a few practices and shoot arounds a week. And then a game at the end of the week that you guys can like, you know, just relax. You know, it's, it's paradise with beaches, palm trees, great drinks, great food here. So it's a real chill league. Um, our paradise, I mean, our playoffs are towards the end of August. So guys can play here in the summer and still go play in Europe, Asia, 
Australia, America, different things like that. My ambition of the league, the next step for my league was, this phase was to bring the fans in. Last year we had a COVID year and we had no fans. This year we have fans in, so now we're keeping track of all the data for this season. My next step would be to create, give every team an owner. You know, give an owner to each team. Um, make it less falling back on me. Give every owner a, a team where they can set up the budget for the GM, a coach, pay the players a certain amount of salaries, and um, it would fall less pressure on, on my shoulders. So right now I do everything. Um, I feel like I'm the president, GM, everything. You know, coach, whatever you want to do. I, I, I wear many hats, but but you know, I love it. I love it, and it's, it's my dream to create this league and make it one of the best leagues in Africa. My message to African youth would be to just remain inspired, remain inspired, and um, don't fall victim to the, the trap here. You know, a lot of people will tell you not to do things. A lot of people will tell you how your idea wouldn't work. A lot of people will tell you, you know, give up on your dream because they don't see it. So I would tell the African youth to just, if you believe in something, if you really, really, truly, truly see it for yourself, then just continue to do it. And only nobody stop you because in Africa, there's, there's always gonna be someone telling you not to do something, always. It could be your uncle, it could be your aunt, it could be your dad, it could be your mom, but you just gotta keep going because the sky's the limit for us here. Oh, the best meal in Cape Verde so far. The best meal I've had here so far has to be so many. The best, the best meal I've had so far, if I bring my, if I bring you here to Cape Verde, would be, I like Bitok. I like Bitok, I like Kachupa, I like, um, I just started eating salmon, like salmon here. So many different things. So like, I mean, I would try the Kachupa, it's like a main dish we have here. Um, it's very, very good. Um, so if you come to Cape Verde, you have to try the Kachupa here. Um, that's one thing I would give everybody. They have to try because it's, it's our, our main dish. Um, outside of that, we have so many different things you can eat here. So many good food. It's been Antonio DePina for X Ball Media.